Ivy League. J Rock has come back to you too. What is happening with the millions? And millions of J-Rock's fans from all over the world. You're right here with J-Rock, the most electrifying YouTuber. All of YouTube tame meant the YouTube people chat. And we're about to watch some finally, finally about to watch a gameplay trailer for none other than Assassin's Creed Val. Holla, holla, holla! Oh yeah, that's right, baby. And so we're not gonna waste no time. We're gonna get right to this thing, because J-Rock wants to see finally some gameplay for this game right here. I was disappointed with the whole Xbox thing when they showed their whole um, chin dig and it wasn't no gameplay, so we're about to check this out right here, shall we? Work in progress. It better be 60 frames a second. That's all right. j Rock is going to be highly disappointed. In Assassin's Creed 30. Valhalla, you will relive the epic saga of the Viking invasion of England. You play as Eivor, a Viking from Norway, who will lead his or her battle-hardened warriors across the North Sea to the British Isles. Eivor is driven by an ambitious goal, to build a thriving Norse settlement in a hostile land. For the good of our clan, it is time we go a Viking. Today we raid, that tomorrow we may build. England is a dark age tangle of broken kingdoms and warring dynasties, a land of opportunity and riches. As you prowl England's rivers by longship, you may raid locations you spot from the shoreline. Ground your ship and blow your horn to lead your raiding crew into battle. crew will assist you in all your raids, fighting enemies, battering down doors, and stealing cargo too heavy for one set of arms. Yeah, it's a lot like Assassin's Creed. Whatever like riches flag. and resources you pillage may be used to develop your settlement, giving you access to useful services, better tools, and new settlers. At the heart of your settlement is the Alliance map. It will serve as a record of the allies you have made, and a guide for future opportunities. The Viking Age was a time of warriors and legends. In Valhalla, you will find the largest variety of enemies ever assembled in an Assassin's Creed Ooh. game. That's a move from the Revelation right there. Every archetype offers a unique challenge. Some will coordinate with their allies for special attacks, while others will use nearby objects to their advantage, hmm. including the bodies of fallen warriors. Wow. To face these attacks, you must find and exploit your opponent's weaknesses to gain the upper hand. Hmm. Take the fight to your foes with a host okay. of brutal new combat abilities. Okay. Snare them with a Viking Ooh. harpoon. Pummel them with throwing axes. Oh, okay. Incapacitate them with the new stun system to keep them at a distance. Or okay. finish them off. Not bad. Not bad. Dual wield any two weapons you wish. To unleash a deadly combination of Thor attacks. Hammer. Nice. Customize your fighting style as you mm. see fit, and become a legendary Damn. Viking warrior. Curve stuff? All combinations of weapons are available to dual wield, including two shields. Wow, two shields. Not all situations call for violence. Ooh. In this new land, a Viking must find a way to adapt. Oh, so they bring that back. Is not welcome from the first in Assassin's Creed. You well, may need to outsmart your enemies, avoiding unwanted attention in towns and bustling cities. Use Eivor's hood and cloak to blend with crowds and slip past watchful eyes, an unseen hunter among the people. Okay. They're bringing that back, I see. 
From capital cities and villages, to the dense forests and rolling hills of England, exploration is vital to keeping yourself sharp. You must feed off the land if you hope to endure. Oh, okay. So you gotta forage to replenish your health and fortify your equipment. Oh, they bring, they bring back the animal fights. Search pagan temples and Roman ruins for new activities and challenges to strengthen yourself and your settlement. The more you explore, the more of England's secrets you will reveal. Ravens, show no mercy! But as you push deeper into England, the enemy will push back. In a series of climactic moments, Assassin's Creed Valhalla will feature massive assaults mm. in which you will lead Eivor's army into battle Man. against heavily guarded Saxon fortresses. Today we will Aye. be Today we fight for your land. And tomorrow we rebuild. Assassin's Creed Valhalla will transport you to wondrous and haunted lands inspired by Norse myths and England's pagan roots. It will challenge and surprise with unforgettable characters, thrilling triumphs and tragic losses, giving you the chance to live your own Viking saga. Ah, ow. Yo, if they show that, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Okay. Well, J-Rock says this. That last part where they took a page out of Mortal Kombat's playbook and they showed some x-rays as that hidden blade, no rhyme intended on that line, pierced through the skin and bones of its enemy. And J-Rock says this. If they show that part, oh, J-Rock damn sure is going to be down with Assassin's Creed Valhalla! So... But this looks damn good. I like the the, the they bring them, they bring them back some oldies but goodies, right? They bring them back the hood where you can blend in. J Rock remembers that from the first couple of Assassin's Creed games. The the, the I guess the rating that was that was similar to what they did in Assassin's Creed Black Flag. That little move where he you know kind of leaped over the guy that was uh, reminiscent of Assassin's Creed Revelation. J Rock says this. I hope that the parkour is a lot better. The best parkour uh, Assassin's Creed game, hands down, to J-Rock, Assassin's Creed Unity. That was by far the best, hands down, parkour that J-Rock has ever seen. Uh, as far as Assassin's Creed go. Um, really in any game, if you think about it. Because the way you can just jump from one end to the other, and you can jump down, grab on ledges, swing back up. I mean, it was just nuts. J-Rock really liked that. So I hope this game does that. As J-Rock said before, for PS5 and Xbox Series X, oh, this best be no less 60 frames per second 4K. I don't want to hear no excuses from these developers. No, 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 no. Should have been that way for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. But you know damn well sure now you can do it because it gas the power. So damn sure don't want to hear nothing about you not being able to do it now. Alright? So it looks like that's going to be around the time frame that the next gens are going to be released. I know that they have a placeholder page on Amazon right now. Pre-orders still aren't available yet. But it's just letting you know we're getting closer. Alright? But I am feeling this game. Definitely might be playing this one. Alright? Post your comments down below and let J-Rock know what you thought of this video. No rhyme intended on that line. If you're going to be getting this game or you're interested in it, let J-Rock know down below. And if you appreciate it and enjoyed the YouTube People's Champs reaction to this video, hit that like button, subscribe to the People's Channel, and let the world know that the great one, the most electrifying YouTuber, is here. All right? Also, hit that bell so you can be notified that it is time to be electrified. Thank you for joining J-Rock. Until we meet again. Mamba and Gigi. Forever. If you're smart, oh, what J Rock is.